What's up, beautiful groovy cat people? Jackson Galaxy, your cat daddy here with you today. Oh, today we're talking about fat cats. I don't have any other bed. You know what? Listen, I can only put out this caveat before I start talking about fat cats, and that's because I have like a fat cat hall pass because I grew up that kid. I was the chunk. Growing up, I have fought the battle of the chunk my entire life. So if I had any hall pass, it would either be for chunky cats or bald cats. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Anyhow, so uh, with a, with, without further ado, I would like to turn it over to our good friend, meaning the person who sent in this question, Jessie, and her cat, Melon. Let's check it out. Hi, Jackson. I have a beautiful boy called Melon who needs to lose weight. I would like to have a little bit of a video meme contest here. What is Melon saying here? Let's watch it again. I have a beautiful boy called Melon who needs to lose weight. What is Melon saying? Is it A, watch it, mom, B, food, hell yeah, or C, I'm hungry? Which is it? Just tell me down in the comments. Okay, getting back to our regular scheduled question here. But he's very food oriented. And yes, we'll not stop eating and we'll stop at nothing to get food. Um, at night time, uh, Merlin will um, whack my face all night if I haven't left biscuits out for him. But as you can see, he's getting very chubby and I've tried to not leave biscuits out for him overnight. Um, but he's still whack my face all night to get biscuits. And no matter what I do, he'll still hit me in the face to get biscuits. Um. <laughs> I just gotta stop there because Oh, th this look on Jesse's face when she says, and he still whacks me in the face, and then she goes. Um. <laughs> Clearly, this is the uh, bashful giggle of somebody whose cat beats the heck out of them every night, you know? I thought about putting diet food out, but I've got another cat who's not as chubby and doesn't need to be on a diet, so um, yeah. Um, any suggestions? <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, I gotta love Jessie and Melon. But you know, as she brings up the, the sort of crux of so many of the problems that folks who have overweight cats will come to me with. And, and, and she gives us very telling clues throughout. Check this out. He's very food oriented and Yes, we'll not stop eating and we'll stop at nothing to get food. Um, at night time, uh, Merlin will um, whack my face all night if I haven't left biscuits out for him. But as you can see, he's getting very chubby and I've tried to not leave biscuits out for him overnight, but he's still whack my face all night to get biscuits. And no matter what I do, he'll still hit me in the face to get biscuits. These five points tell us everything we need to know. Because, the, the, and now I'm not discounting the fact that Melon might not be food motivated and hungry all the time. I, you know, th the first thing that I will say about any of this, and let's just call this the sort of generic disclaimer, please, generic disclaimer. Okay, thanks. Generic disclaimer is that I am not a veterinarian, nor do I play one on TV. And if your cat is doing something like what Melon is doing, which is compulsively eating, first go to your vet, have blood work done, and make sure there's nothing out of whack with your cat. Now, when it comes to the rest of it, you can start listening to me. <laughs> so the, the first thing that I wanna uh, put out there is that he is food motivated. Okay, well, clearly, the, bo the boy eats plenty, um, but he also might be, not to keep making parallels to me when I was a kid, my mom called me big boned or husky. My, my beautiful little girl, Caroline, who is not so little, she's more like a melon. From the time she was an adult, she's just started getting bigger and bigger. Even though she was eating a perfectly balanced diet, she was exercising and everything, she was just a big girl. And then I met another one of her siblings about a year later because Caroline was a foster. One of her sisters, her sister's name was Snickers at the time. And Snickers made Caroline look like a ballerina. I mean, that cat was like, could have gotten a starting job on any football team that you can imagine. She was huge. And that just goes to show you that genetically, 
you know, you can be big boned, but that should not be an excuse for not doing the best you can, and that's why Jesse is asking the question. So by saying that he's food motivated, okay, check that, get it, he's a food motivated cat, all right. But secondly, he eats all the time, and that he'll stop at nothing. If, if you say he eats all the time, what's, what's the subtext to that? The subtext is he's got food out there all the time. So if you're free feeding Melon and Melon's sibling, then you're giving them the option to make the decision that I get to eat whenever I want, whatever I want. And as any human being can tell you, <laughs> that ain't a good thing. As somebody who's been in lockdown for the past year and a half, working from home with a fridge like six steps away from me, I can tell you that ain't a good thing. So it's not a good thing for Melon either. And that points us to feeding meals, to regulating your cat's metabolism by feeding them regularly, but feeding them meals. Now the argument that I've heard plenty of is that cats aren't naturally meal eaters. Out in, in nature, they would be eating whatever they could find. They're more opportunistic. They're, they're not just hunters. They can be seen as scavengers. Okay, I get that. But out there, they're also getting a lot more exercise than they're getting in your house. And the one thing that cats will not eat out in the wild are crunchies, are biscuits, are dry food. They just won't, right? What they will eat is bugs and mice and their natural prey. We have to adapt to what we feed cats and the life that we give them indoors, etc. So in that case, I'm saying, listen, I don't even care if you feed them five meals a day, as long as you're feeding them regularly and picking the food up in between. We, we just get their bodies into a metabolic rhythm. You'll see, by doing this over the course of a couple weeks, he'll stop being so insistent and his body will start taking shape if you do those two things. One, feed meals. Secondly, lay off the dry food. If you're feeding any dry food whatsoever, cut it out, go for wet. Cats are what, people? What, what's the words? Yes, obligate carnivore. And that means that they are built to exclusively eat meat, not processed meat, not meat that's turned into a little cocoa puff, none of that just actual meat because not only does it have muscle and bone and fat, it also has hydration in it. And cats get about 75% of their hydration through their food. I know, I sound like a broken cat nutrition record, but hey, you asked, Jesse, so this is what you're getting from me. The next thing that you say is about nighttime. Nighttime what? Uh, Merlin will um, whack my face all night if I haven't left biscuits out for him. All right, there's our fourth point. But as you can see, he's getting very chubby and I've tried to not leave biscuits out for him overnight. And our fifth point. So what these have to do with is that you're saying that he needs to have these biscuits at night. And by biscuits, I assume you mean dry treats. That's what we say in America, dry treats. <laughs> All right, so. So, but here's the thing. You're to blame for both of these things, Jesse. You have made your melon-shaped bed right now. Number one is that you are giving him, you've gotten him used to the taste of this. Zero nutritional value, but tastes really good. The second thing is you're like, he'll whack me in the face at night for it. Okay, but what happens when he whacks you in the face, Jesse? Right, you give it, you give in. You give him the treats because you don't want to be whacked in the face. So you set up the problem and you're perpetuating the problem. So what do we have to do? Number one, let's change up what he's getting. There's nothing wrong with getting treats at night. Just again, make sure it's meat. So my biggest favorite here, freeze dried meat treats. They have the crunch to them, but they are nothing but meat and, the, and that's it, you know? And, but they're just in a crunchy form. So all you have to do is find a flavor that your cat digs, Boom, you're in. The next thing that you can do is get a food puzzle toy. So therefore, you put some of these treats in a food puzzle. He gets to actually work at it a little bit. He has to solve a problem in order to get his food. He's busy while you're getting ready for bed. Okay, great, now you've given him his treats. He doesn't have dry food available to him all night long. He doesn't have treats available to him all night long. You go to sleep. Okay, so now's the really hard part. But just remember, I'm saying this because you made the bed, Jesse, so now you get to sleep in it, so to speak. And Melon will be in that bed, and he'll be driving you crazy. He'll be whacking you in the head. The hardest part of all this is to ignore him. You 
absolutely cannot wake up and dispense treats like a human Pez dispenser just because your cat's whacking you in the face. It's not how this should work. So will you have a couple of bad nights in a row? Yeah, yeah, it may go on for a week. It might be a really crappy week, but you literally have to pretend that you're like, you know, a mannequin. You're sleeping, he starts to whack. You don't, you don't move, you don't say his name. You definitely don't get up and feed him. You don't throw a pillow, you don't yell, you don't say melon, melon, melon. You just lay there. Whack, whack. And that's it. it he stops getting any kind of payoff. And what I think folks don't understand is that can be a negative payoff as well. Yelling, throwing a pillow, whatever it is, saying his name, it still pay off. One other caveat I'm gonna put in here is that it is vitally important that you understand, that everybody understands, that while we do wanna give cats what they're built to eat, and we do wanna be responsible about portions, if your cat stops eating, and especially an overweight cat, that is truly problematic. So please make sure your cats are eating something, but that doesn't mean that we have to just constantly have food available to them. All right, so that's it, Jesse. Listen, I know that I kind of sound like I'm oversimplifying, but it's not rocket science. It is, let's go with what cats are built for and try to cater to that need. So what does that mean? It means feeding meat. It means not going with dry. It goes with not feeding the junky, crunchy treats or biscuits. It means feeding uh, on a schedule to the best of our ability, or at the very least, not giving them free reign of food. Let's put it that way. And it also means not giving in every time you get whacked in the head by Melon who demands food. So that's pretty much it, Jesse. Again, I'm going to reiterate this. Go to the vet first, do blood tests and make sure. Check out at least this one video over my head, but this is a, a series of three videos about nutrition. I've got plenty of videos and plenty of places to refer you to about nutrition, which are in the comments of those respective videos. Do your due diligence when it comes to cat nutrition. Don't take my word for it. Don't take your vet's word for it. That means do some work on it. And I think you'll come to this conclusion that for an obligate carnivore, we feed them meat, plain and simple. That's what I say. What do you guys say? I would love to hear about it. Put it down in the comments below. Talk to me about nutrition. Talk to me about fat cats. Talk to me about what's going on in your life. Either way, I would love to know what to make a video about next, and that's where you guys come in very handy. Also, you can send in questions just like Jesse did. Send in a video, tell me what's going on, show me your cat, and maybe I'll answer that question as well. Don't forget, subscribe to this channel. That's what makes it tick. And don't forget to ring that bell so that you get notifications every Catterday before I put out a brand new video. All right, everybody, until next time, you know, give your cats a big hug and kiss from their cat daddy because he loves them. And uh, I wish you all light and all love and all cat mojo.